Welcome to AMC's The Walking Dead panel. I don't know about you guys, but I am psyched, psyched to be here. If, if you're a zombie fan, look no further than The Walking Dead. Uh, what Rock, Robert Kirkman created is one of the seminal continuing series of our time. As you may know, it's already up. It's up this year for an Eisner for Best Continuing Series. It was the venue to tell a zombie story that I'd been looking for. Uh, so many zombie movies have been made, made very well. I really had not seen the point of trying to figure that out. Uh, but Robert had done something that was going to be an expanded saga following a group of people, very character-driven stuff, which is the stuff I dig the most. It's sort of right up my alley. Um, I loved the idea of doing, doing something a little bold for television that, that kind of reaches back into the genre uh, that I love, and, uh, but is a very, very character, you know, character-based thing. And that's, that's what Robert did that really turned me on. So I right away started um, concocting this thing in my head. That was, what, five years ago? Four years ago? Something like that? I've lost track. I've, yeah, me too. <laughs> It's a long journey. It all worked out in the end. That's all that's important. It's because the zombies move slowly. <laughs> Frank and I felt uh, really honored to be able to collaborate with Robert and to keep him as involved as possible in, uh, in the series. In fact, uh, the episode that we're shooting right now, 104, Robert wrote. Yeah. <laughs> the images that I've seen are awesome because it looks like they're ripped right out of the comic book panels, you know? How's it feel to see your work finally kind of translated? I, you know, working on The Walking Dead, I never really expected it to be adapted at all. I mean, it's, uh, I, I didn't really want to do a movie for obvious reasons. You can't do the zombie movie that never ends as a movie, because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and uh, as far as television goes, I mean, it's, it's, it always seemed like a tough sell, you know, zombies on TV. But uh, uh, to see it happen, and to see it happen in such a great way with so many excellent people involved, like uh, these guys over here and these guys over here, uh, and to see AMC really get behind it and, and you know, commit to making a zombie show and doing everything right and, and pushing the limits as far as what they're going to be showing, which you guys will all see momentarily. Uh, it's... Uh, it's it's remarkable. Now, Frank, this is this is an adaptation, obviously. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I've got to ask, how you know, will you follow the arc of the comic book series? Are you going to take it in your own direction at all? Uh, yes, yes, and yes. Um, I, I've always said that I, I think the template, the path, the breadcrumbs left by Mr. Kirkman are are, are extremely good ones. The path is a very very strong template. Uh, but I've also said, and Robert's been great about this, and and in fact has encouraged it to take every, every interesting detour we feel like taking. You know, as long as in the long term we're still following what Robert has done, uh, I don't see why we shouldn't bring every other good idea to the table. Uh, and, and, you know, and expand the narrative, you know, veer off the path as long as we go veer back onto it. And what's, what that's leading to is a lot of really cool ideas that will surprise, I think, the hardcore fans of the comic who really know, like, every page of this thing. There's a lot of stuff that's going to happen they're not going to see coming, which I think is really cool. And yet, the stuff they do know will be there, too. You know, if, if they have patience, we'll eventually catch up to what Robert's been doing. Uh, and that's, that's, that's kind of an exciting thing, because we're not, we're not locked slavishly into a, 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 a thing that is familiar to the fan base. They'll get that, but they're going to get a lot of other stuff, too. Great, great. Yeah, and that was very important to me just because uh, I know a lot of you guys read the comic, and I don't want anyone who's read the comic to be watching the show and going, oh, I know exactly what's going to come next. And uh, I want the comic and the show to exist separately and be just as compelling and have as many surprises as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, thankfully, Frank and all the people in the writer's room are doing such a great job uh, taking all the good parts of the comic and, and expanding them and making them better and adding new things. So I think you guys are all going to be blown away. I really do. Hi, my name's uh, Andrew Lincoln and I play Rick Grimes. <laughs> I'm, I'm the one with the funny voice, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Rick is, as you all know, um, a sheriff's deputy uh, and he works in... Um, uh, a rural district of um, Georgia, 
he's married to Lori, and he has a son called Carl. He's a, he's a decent, honorable man, uh, and he gets shot and wakes up in a zombie apocalypse, as you do. And, uh, and, uh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> and he, uh, throughout the course of, uh, the, it feels like a movie that we're shooting, I think we probably are, uh, he, his, he gets eroded. Uh, and it's one of the most exciting uh, characters to play because of that morally he um, yeah he changes and um, yeah I'll leave it there. Well, Laurie is Rick's wife and Carl's mom and those are probably the two most significant things that she would say about herself and I think she's a woman who as these two work to protect the the bodies of the survivors I think she's um, trying to protect their uh, their humanity, if that's not too silly to say. I mean, I, I think she's somebody who's really trying to make sure that just being alive isn't what we're doing and that we retain some sense of who it is that we want to be and our, our rituals of being human and our hearts, um, even when those hearts are so utterly walled in by fear. Hi, I'm uh, John Bernthal. I play Shane Walsh. Uh, uh, right on. I'm glad you're clapping. Right on. Um, Shane is... Uh, is Rick's best friend and his, his partner, and uh, he, um, he does everything he, he possibly can to, to honor his best friend and, and keep his... Uh, <laughs> stop it now. Stop it now. He don't... I, I, th I, think, I think they've read the comic book. <laughs> yeah, that's messed up, man. There's a really good explanation for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guilty with an explanation. Um, I'm Lori Holden. I play Andrea. Thank you. Um, Andrea is a, a, a lawyer from Florida that went on a road trip with her baby sister, Amy, uh, played by Emma Bell, who I love and adore. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she's uh, she, on this road trip. Uh, the apocalypse happened, and she's, uh, she's basically just trying to keep it together and take care of uh, her sister, who's her heart. And, um, and that's about it. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Hi, as she mentioned, I'm Emma Bell and I play Amy. Um, I am the younger sister of Andrea and I was just got caught up in this zombie apocalypse going back to college and uh, now I'm <laughs> at this camp and I really don't know what is happening most of the time. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, this is my first time at ConCon and I'm kind of scared to look out at you all because there's a lot of you. <laughs> but. Uh, I'm very excited to be here, and I'm really excited to be playing Amy. Great. You know, it's always funny, because at lunchtime, the cast is sitting on one side of the room, and the zombies are sitting on the other side of the room, eating. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to eat with the zombies. <laughs> Every once in a while, you'll have somebody, the zombie will sit down with his plate of food and go, hey, how's it going? And he'll, everyone will get up and leave. <laughs> the guy's just sitting there like, what, what the? But, uh, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty constant. And, you know, with the contact lenses and the dentures and everything, it's... It's tricky, and you know, especially when people get hot, they tend to want to do this. So my team and I are literally running through the streets, you know, making sure that everybody's touched up constantly. And it's 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 definitely challenging because you know, on a on a schedule that we have, it's you know, there's no time to stop. You know, we're 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 running and gunning all the time. There are, there's always three cameras shooting. So even if, you know, if we're shooting a, a close-up of Andrew and then a wider shot of Andrew on the horse and then an even wider shot with, you know, zombies in the street, you know, somewhere along the line, you've got to know what every single camera is doing at every time because you never know when it's going to pan over and catch something here or there. So you're literally, like, constantly on alert. And the same with all the actors, too, you know. There's so many cameras going and it's, you know, catching all the action. We have a big ensemble cast. You know, you're trying to catch a lot of things happening at one time, which makes it feel real. It makes you feel like you're, you're part of, you know, you're part of the team. And then it's also getting a pretty huge release as well, right? It is. Uh, it's actually kind of, uh, you know, uh, unprecedented and exciting news. Uh, we're in partnership with uh, Fox uh, on the global launch of The Walking Dead. And uh, it's going to launch in uh, 250 million households, uh, 120 countries, and uh, over 30 languages, almost simultaneously uh, in October. So, spread the word. 
So in other words, no matter where you live, you will be able to see this series. Yeah, I think uh, the world will know The Walking Dead is out there come October. All right. So Frank, I, I understand you have an announcement to make about uh, the composer of the, of the series. Yeah, let's hear it for our new composer, Bear McCreary. <laughs> Where is he? He's somewhere here. Can you wait? Where are you, Bear? There he is. There he is. Stand up. Wave oh, to the crowd. Right. Oh, there he is. All right. You heard it first. You this heard is it first. Breaking news. <laughs> but seriously, this is uh, this is amazing, and uh, I I can't believe how how many of you are there are and we are really trying to get this right for all of you and and if it's half as good as it feels we're, we're, we're doing it and and thank you so much for your support my god <laughs>